I'm deciding to be a nice guy again because uh, Dom took the Holford's car home. He didn't want the Holford's car being abused on his tight track. I find my car being the sacrificial lamb once again. Didn't do too bad a job. Now it is time for Luke Fink to drive the Modi DVD drift car again. Last time he drove this, he broke a gearbox, smashed the rear bar, the side skirt, and the rear three-quarter panel. It was all your fault. It was all my fault, though. Seems as Luke Fink helped us design the course, we thought he should show you around it. Alright guys, welcome to another day on my vlog. We are here, oh, this is where I'm meant to be going. I'm here to a shop with the uh, Raptor to um, look into lifting the front up. Obviously, you know, you guys know that I, I put the winch and the bull bar on. Um, now the front of the car is sitting lower than I want it to. Um, so we're gonna look into lifting the front of the car back up. I actually want it a bit higher than stock. But being a Raptor and having Fox shocks all around as it is, I really don't want to mess with the amazing ride and why I paid sort of so much for the car. Um, being able to jump it and all those sorts of fun things. So I've rocked up here now. Uh, place is called Mike's Shock Shop. Um, someone from my Instagram and um, also the guys that do the buggy whips have said definitely come and see this guy. They do a lot of like off-road buggies and things like that. So uh, should be interesting. Go in there and check it out and see what we can get organized from the Raptor because once I get the lift in the front, then I can uh, get the 35s on and uh, this thing's ready for a big four-wheel driving trip. I'm really keen to get this thing back out on the tracks once all this stuff's done. All right, definitely seems like I've come to the right place um, at the right time, especially um, place called Mike's Shock Shop and rather than going for a spring, we're gonna go for a full revalve and springs um, that are actually bringing out a product really soon, which is like my timing pretty much couldn't be any better. Uh, and they're about to start doing some stuff with it. So um, he's gonna do me a great deal and uh, hopefully be able to show you guys along for the ride as well. But um, they do custom springs. Um, they have made for them um, by King, so that's super rad. But mostly they do, I wouldn't say mostly, but they definitely do buggy stuff and off-road racing stuff, probably rock crawling stuff as well, yeah? 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 Yep. Yeah. I'm seeing nods. A lot of people here are scared of cameras, so. Um, but everything is like sick here. Actually, I enjoy this stuff so much, but we are going with a full revalve and springs on the um, Raptor, which I'm freaking amped about because every everywhere I look, people are, you know, unhappy with just the spring lift because it messes with the shocks. And then I'm um, talking to the guys here more about that whole lift situation with the way the valving works and everything with the Fox shocks. This definitely seems like it's gonna be the way to go. So um, next week I'll be coming back down here and we'll be getting the lift happening on the Raptor as well as revalving the shocks to suit. So. Um, for Raptor guys, you definitely want to be watching this because the amount of people that complain about just the spring lift, whether it be Kings or Dobson's or whatever, this is a full revalve and not replacement of the Fox, but a revalving of the, of the shocks to suit the, uh, the spring lift and to suit the spring that's going in the car, which is the right way to do it. So, and the price is good, man. Like I'll update you guys more as we get into it, but yeah, I can't wait. All right, there we go. Finishing up here now at Mike's, um, having a bit more of a talk to them as well about their um, 
you know all the things they do really really cool place to uh have a chin wag and sort of talk to them about what they do but they are like the official kings importer in australia and all kinds of stuff so i've definitely uh caught on to the right blokes i'm really freaking stoked on it and i cannot wait to get this thing lifted and uh man this thing's gonna be sick soon i love the raptor but it's gonna be even better Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, so here at Broomstick Factory again, guys. Um, I'm going to use the opportunity while I'm here to finally get my tank protector in. Um, it's all happening on the Raptor at the moment. I've got this uh, tank protector from OD, whichever, what are they, company? Outback Dynamics. But it's a full metal... Um, bash plate to go under my tank because that seems to be the lowest point on the Raptor so get this bad boy on there and I'll show you kind of show you guys through the process but get it on there get rid of the horrible plastic one one more step for the Raptor and uh, while we're here we're gonna get some more work done on the S13 convertible um, we don't have any gas for the welder yet so we'll see what we get up to we're gonna try and get some stuff done on it all right, so we're under the Raptor now, and you can see the damage that I've already done to the standard setup. Um, you've already done undone a couple bolts. Yeah, just on the side there. Yeah. So we'll do a couple more bolts in the middle. Yeah. Get some. And then maybe one or something up that side I somewhere. Think it, yeah, oh, three these ones on this here. side. Yeah. yeah, these ones, and then there's three more on the side. Oh wait, where do they unbolt from? I think they're like the four, like your BA Falcon radiator cap things, like like safety. So the dirt don't get into them. I think we just pop them off with a pair of pliers, and they yeah, right. They should come undone. Oh, well, we'll do that. Maybe that says so that way those nuts and bolts go. You reckon? I think so. So my rock sliders have definitely been doing a good job under here. You can see all the straight marks already on my rock sliders, but obviously this tank is not up to the task at all. So we'll get um, this tank protector in. Another thing I want to do under this car is get rid of the rear muffler and um, get Black Arts to do a rear section on this because the tank is such a big bulky item. Uh, not the tank, sorry, the, the uh, exhaust itself is such a, a big heavy item um, that really does nothing. Apparently when you put an exhaust on them, it doesn't make them any louder, um, but it gets rid of that humongous, you know, potential to catch on something and break other stuff which is what you're trying to uh eliminate what's wrong hey no no nothing i was just looking at you may as well get rid of it it's already got a hole in it by the looks of it oh really yeah at the bottom here joking That's... yeah it's already got a pinhole at the bottom we're no ford experts here but it looks like you need to grind these off and that's the uh the way we're going to go about it it's diesel car so we don't have to be worried about a fire or anything like that grinding near the tank but it seems like the only way to go about it really it, it is, is basically grinding these off they don't look like they're necessarily meant to come off but it's definitely we have replacement bolts for them but from what i can see that's the only real way to get it off or unless yeah. i don't know there's not much information about it on the internet either no i can't find anything so no. this might be the if you are watching this video we're probably, we're not experts, but we're going to get this done. We will have the info. <laughs> huh? We will have the info by yeah. the end of the day. We're going to be the info. <laughs> okay, so what we're opting to do is, because my standard one was broken anyway, we're cut through here all the way, and we're going to drop the front strap and work out exactly how these are connected and uh, go from there, because I can't seem to find anything on the out, uh, out back Dynamics page about how to remove these. Um, and unfortunately where we are the internet's quite bad, so We'll drop them and see what we can find out <laughs> A bit annoying, but we'll get there. All right, so Seems in my wisdom. I've either misplaced stuff or there's stuff missing from the um, From the fitting kit, so I'm gonna go to my house and then I'm also gonna go down the track and see if we can locate it so uh, Wish us luck, otherwise this thing isn't going in. I'm gonna have to, it either didn't come or like I'm pretty confident it it didn't come with instructions, which I thought was weird. 
um, and I'm guessing instructions would have been with the remainder of the bracketry and bolts so wouldn't be surprised because this rear bar I got didn't come with the number plate lights they forgot to put those in so I'm guessing all the guys down in Melbourne in quarantine are uh, maybe losing their minds all right so we're getting there on this install finally we've ended up strapping the tank up with this strap here that straps around the tank and it's holding it up so I've gone like basically gone from the tail shaft to the rock slider to hold the tank up and then we're bolting the tank straps to the tank protector and then we'll be bolting it all back in and then we should just be able to slide the strap straight out all in all not actually too bad of an install the only real bitch part was the um stupid bloody rivets that they put in at factory um it would have been nice to know if we had to grind them out or whatever um i guess if you wanted to keep your original one in good condition it would have been difficult because those rivets go all the way like we had to molest the factory guard to be able to sort that out but other than that reasonably easy install yeah. i'd say yeah 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 pretty easy eh? pretty much just crank these six nuts down slot her back into position it's got the four main bolts for the straps and then a couple across the side and we're done so relatively easy install uh we've got a friend on the way around now to torque paint with the s13 so he'll be here soon so hopefully we we'll get this done before he gets here so we can uh get onto s13 s13 things all right so the tank install well the tank protector install is done um go under so all in there now looking pretty damn good definitely do a way better job at protecting the tank than the factory rubbish um, so we're pretty happy with that um, we just had um, a guy come over about the paintwork everything is looking good so it'll be a couple of weeks before we get it painted because we still want to take care of all the little holes and and basically make sure we've got everything completely under control I still need to order the paint from Hammer as well. Um, so I'm gonna get that done because we really do wanna get this under control and running sooner rather than later. But yeah, pretty stoked. Good productive day so far. I'm pretty amped about the whole suspension thing on the Raptor as well as getting that tank in. Thank you, Jamie, again, right, for Brent. giving me a hand. No Broomstick Factory on uh, Instagram, guys. Yeah, I bring it down off our makeshift lift <laughs> and uh, go home and have some dinner and uh, see what the rest of the night brings.